As a researcher, I realized that there's actually limited awareness on resources for Filipiniana research articles and bio-bibliographies of Filipino experts and scientists. But thanks to DOST STII, researchers like me don't have to worry about accessing such reference materials anymore. Introducing the Philippine Science and Technology Abstracts or PSTA and the Specialized Philippine Enterprise Reference of Experts and Scientists or SPHERES. Published twice a year, PSTA and SPHERES are open access online publications of DOST STII. PSTA aims to put Filipiniana research articles in the spotlight, while SPHERES highlights the latest research project of Filipino experts and scientists. DOST STII desires to make these publications accessible to a wider audience. That's why PSTA and SPHERES are downloadable for free. This means users can access and download PSTA and SPHERES publications anytime, anywhere. Isn't it great? PSTA and SPHERES are not only for researchers like me, but also for students, teachers, and professionals. If you're a student or a teacher looking for Filipiniana research studies, then the PSTA publication is the one for you. To download the latest issue of PSTA, simply scan the QR code or visit the link seen on your screens. You may also access previous issues at the link shown below. On the other hand, students or researchers like me looking for experts and scientists of the Philippines on the different s and fields may check out the SPHERES publication. To access the latest issue of SPHERES, simply visit spheres.dost.gov.ph. Previous issues may also be accessed through their website. With PSTA and SPHERES, researching is made easier and better thanks to DOST STII. They're definitely the go-to references for Filipiniana research studies and bio-bibliographies of experts and scientists of the Philippines on SNT. Access and download PSTA and SPHERES now. Like their Facebook or contact them through email as seen on your screens.
say natin is um, to still continue providing service to the Filipino people kahit may pandemic. Ayan. So, hello sa inyo, mga na, uh, nasa Facebook Live. Ayan. May mga nanonood po sa atin from Nueva Vizcaya. Ayan. May from CDO. Okay. So, hinihiling ko po sa inyo, sa mga kasama namin na nandito, na lalabas po ang inyong mga mukha Sa, sa ating social media account. So, yung mga uh, okay lang po na lumabas ang mukha sa, sa Facebook Live, ayan, um, pwede nyo pong tanggalin ang mask nyo pag pupunta kayo dito sa harap. And sa mga ayaw naman po, magsabi lang po kayo sa amin. Okay. So, um, I am Irene Alice Brillo. I am the Science Research Specialist too, working under the Information Resources and Analysis Division. So, sa inyo, siguro familiar na yung mukha ko sa inyo. <laughs> no. And uh, familiar na din yung pangalan nyo sa amin. Dahil lagi namin kayo nakikita sa ating um, attendance or registration forms in our different activities. And... To formally welcome everyone in this endeavor, may we ask the Chief of the Information Resources and Analysis Division, Sir Alan Taule, for the welcome remarks.
Okay, so masks off muna. But, uh, maganda po yung ano, bati namin sa inyo, ano? Because, uh, talagang unique ang aming pag-welcome sa ating mga guests this morning. So, oh, uh, talagang, ano, it was an earth-shaking welcome to everybody. And, uh, ano, uh, we will be waiting for updates, not only from Facebook, but also from social media. Uh, Amazingly, so many people uh, first got wind of the earthquake, not because they felt it, but because they tweeted it, they posted it on Facebook, or they received it on their Facebook Messenger. So, na, so ganun po ka-pervasive ngayon ang information ngayon. Ano? Kumbaga, parang information is traveling at the speed of knowledge. <laughs> So, uh, with that, uh, I'd like to welcome you all to our Library Clients Appreciation Day. So, uh, this, is, this event is being held in order to, you know, uh, give thanks and to recognize our library clients, those who have uh, made our uh, services uh, very valuable, not only to uh, library clients, but to the whole of, uh, you know, uh, to the, you know, to the body of knowledge that still needs to be discovered, okay? So, alam naman po natin na in this world, there is news and there is fake news. So, okay, ganito. We are continue to, we continue to receive uh, updates about the, you know, about the earthquake kaya uh, talagang ganun po talaga ka-pervasive ang information and knowledge ngayon. And uh, ang kalaban po kasi natin ngayon is if uh, this is the age of information, this is also the age of disinformation. So ang importante rito is for us to be able to impart the key message that <coughs> question of uh, reliable, factual, and vetted information and knowledge. So ito pong ginagawa natin ngayon. Uh, we will continue to, uh, no, we will uh, give thanks and, uh, you know, uh, give appreciation to all those who made our services worthwhile for the last two years. So ito po. Uh, Ano ba magkakaroon tayo ngayon? Uh, ito pong mga mangyayari sa araw na ito. No? So, sa araw na ito, uh, we will be honoring and we will be recognizing uh, our clients in four categories. So, ibig sabihin magkakaroon po tayo ng apat na awards. Ano? So the first award will be for the online advocate award. So this uh, award is a uh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, No, 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 no. No, no. So this award is being given to the individual or the institution who is actively promoting the OST SDI library services, ano? Now, we have a number of platforms here that are uh, being used but i think uh, ang kailangan natin i-highlight is yung advocate natin in all possible platforms ano ikalawa the second award will be for the highest number of OLLP participants so meron po tayong online library literacy program and this uh, award is going to be given to the institution with the most participants in our OLLP uh, services and uh, definitely bibigay ito sa ating institution, ano? mamaya. Bibigay namin sa inyo, no? And then, we also have the webinar loyalty award. So this is going to be given to the client who attended the most 
uh, library webinars, library hosted web webinars for the period of 2020 to 2021. And then we have a special award mamaya. This is for the top requester award. This is going to be given to the client that has requested the most library materials in 2020 to 2021. So yun po yung mga pararangalan po natin ngayon and uh, mamaya papagpatuloy uh, natin itong programa natin and uh, I hope you enjoy. So good morning and uh, welcome to everybody. Thank you. Ayan, thank you, Sir Alan. And totoo nga, no, earth-shattering welcome <laughs> sa ating lahat. Ayan, so uh, as we also welcome everyone, I would like to acknowledge the presence of our awardees uh, on-site. And meron din po tayong uh, virtual. Yes. So on-site po, uh, we have the following. Uh, hmm. I'll just name you. Or office. From the School of St. Anthony. Nasan sila? Ayun. <laughs> we also have from Blessed Christian School de Santa Rosa. Ayun. We also have here uh, from NLP or the National Library of the Philippines. This is uh, headed by the Chief of uh, Public Libraries, by Public Libraries Division. We have Ms. Blisela P. Velasco. And then we also have here uh, individual awardees. So, papangalanan ko na po sila. <laughs> we have uh, Jean Razel Gagalak. Nasan siya? Wala, wala pa siya, ma'am. Ay! Oh, sorry. And then we have Joselito Jose Di Domingo. Wala siya. Okay. Ah, baka nasa virtual pala. Ayan. We also have Claribel Domingo. Wala siya. Okay. And we have Mylin L. De Los Santos. Meron ba ako yung hindi na banggit? Okay. So anyway, uh, mamaya po iisa-isa yun ulit kayo. Okay. So once again, thank you so much for uh, gracing our occasion. And for now, ayan, para sa ating mga Facebook Live viewers, para ganahan tayo ngayong umaga, magkakaroon muna tayo ng palaro. Ayan. So it's game time and you will be given a chance to win DOST STII Srinir items. Ang game one natin, ayan, ready na ba kayo? Ayan, sa ating mga nasa Facebook Live, ready na ba kayo? <laughs> ayan, so ang unang laro natin ay ang uh, tinatawag na or ang title nito ay how well do you know DOST STII? So yun lang po yung sasagutin ninyo. How well do you know DOST STII? Ang mechanics nito, you answer th that question about DOST STII, type your answer in the comment box sa ating mga FB Live viewers and use the code for it. question. So may code tayo para tayong nagla-live selling, di ba? Pag mamamayan ka, may code code siya. Ayan. So, ang gagawin natin, kasi ang mga questions dito is about STII. So, titingnan natin how well do you know DOST STII. So, uli ulitin ko po ang mechanics natin. Uh, type your answer in the comment box for our FB Live viewers and use the code for each question. The first one to comment with the correct answer wins DOST STII souvenir items. And, ayan, seller screen po tayo. 
Ayan. So, iba-iba po yung dating niya based sa uh, lakas ng internet connection. Yung paglabas ng sagot nyo. Okay. So, ready na ba tayo? Ready na kayo? Ang, uh, pwede din pong sumali ang ating uh, mga nasa on-site. Kailangan nyo lamang pong buksan yung Facebook page ng uh, STII Library. Ayan. Makikita nyo po yung naka-live dyan. Ayan. Pwede po kayong mag-comment dyan ng inyong kasagutan din. Okay. So, ready na ba tayo? Ayan. Ready na ba kayo? <laughs> Ayan. Ay, sa mga nanonood, ready na ba kayo? Okay. So, ang unang katanungan ay, ito na po, first question. What does acronym STII in DOST STII stands for? What does the acronym STII in DOST STII stands for? Type the correct answer in the comment box sa FB Live and use this code. Ayan, so may code tayo. Ready na kayo sa code? Okay, ang code natin ay Q1 and then type your answer. Q1, your answer. Go! Ayan, titignan natin kung may... <laughs> Ayan, kailangan pong sumunod sa mechanics. Ayan. Okay. May nakasagot. Si Dandy Florence Bailon Manggao. Okay. Sabi niya, science and technology information. Ang hali! Information technology yung nilagay niya. Ang nakasagot, ang nakasagot ng tama ay si Ana Corita Panimdim Lerasan. You want science and technology information. Ayan. Congrats, anak ko Rita Panimdim Lerasan. Question number two. ito ng mga librarian at naglalibrary. What does the acronym OPAC stands for? And ang ating code ay Q2 and then your answer. So code Q2 and then your answer. Ayan. Wala pa po ako nakikita sa aking screen. Ayan. Sabi ni Flow, online public access category. Sorry. Try again, Flow. Ayan. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng OPA? <laughs> Sabi ni Azral BD, open access public catalog. Uh, OAPC yung kanya. So, ang tinatanong natin ay OPAC. Ayan, sabi naman ni Phil S. Nav, online public access catalog. Ayan, very good. Congratulations, Phil S. Nav. Ayan, so, um, yung mga members po ng ating library team ang magsisend po ng mensahe sa inyo sa lahat ng mga mananalo kung paano po nila makukuha ang kanilang mga kapremyo. Okay. Pangatlong tanong. Ito na. Question number three. What is the URL of the DOST STII Library OPAC? Alam na alam ito ng mga gumagamit na OPAC ng DOST STII. Again, what is the URL of the DOST STII Library OPAC? Code Q3 space your answer. Ano ang URL? Ayan. Sa mga 
mga nag-a-attend ng online library literacy program din natin, alam na alam niyo yun. Sana naaalala ko. <laughs> Sabi ni Mavi Narkita, sign it that dost.gov.p <laughs> Okay, so eh, siya po ang nanalo, sign it that dost.gov.p Question, question number four. This is dubbed as the first Philippine digital library designed to bring SNP information to the public. Anong tawag daw? This is dubbed as the first Philippine digital library designed to bring SNP information to the public. Ang code po ay Q4 okay. Agnes Balikod po Ayan, try again Ayan, so may mga nagbibigay na po ng clue sagot ay si Sino po unang nakasagot sa inyo? Majesty Agosto! <laughs> Nandito siya ngayon. Okay, kasama natin siya on time. Yay! Congratulations! So, maya-maya makukuha mo na yung award mo. Isasabay natin dun sa award na kukunin mo talaga ngayon. Ayan! Next, question number five. Ito na po. What does the acronym Starbucks stands for? This is the question. What does the acronym Starbucks stands for? Code is Q5 in the your answer. Ayan, mahaba-haba. Ayan, nag-try again si Ms. Agnes Balikudkod. Sabi niya, Science and Technology Academic and Research-Based Openly Operated Kiosk Stations. Ito yung isang word. Ayan. Si Dandy, ayan. Tinobrahan din niya ng isang word. Sabi ni Jonathan Abalon, Science and Technology Acquired and Resources Based Openly Operated Kiosk. Ayan, ang dami niya ng clue. Sabi ni Rory Dell, Science and Technology Academic and Research Based Openly Operated Kiosk Stations. Um, sigurado ito, nag-search sila. No? Ang old na meaning kasi ng Starbucks kasama ang Stations. Okay, finally, may nakakuha si Norhata Edris. Ayan, congratulations, Norhata. Okay, so ang sagot ay Science and Technology Academic and Research-Based Openly Operated Kiosks. Ayan, wala pang stations. Okay? Ayan, so congratulations po sa ating mga Nalalo, we have um, one final question for game one. Game one pa lang tayo. Okay. Ito na po ang question number six. What is the oldest scientific journal in the Philippines? Or what is the title of the oldest scientific journal in the Philippines? So, title po ito. Code Q6 in the newer answer. Title po. 
Ewan kong title ng all this na Fitting Science Journal. QRST Digest. Ayan, sabi ni Francine Isabella Baguio. Philippine Journal of Science. Congratulations! Nakuha mo, Francine Isabella Baguio. Ayan. So, congratulations to all the winners of Game 1. Ayan, so abangan nyo po, may susunod pa. And right now, we will be moving on to the awarding ceremony. However, bago yun, papakita natin yung mga mapapanunulan ng ating mga um, game winners. Okay, so ito po mga souvenir items po ng DOST STII. So meron po tayong... Ayan, so ito po isang mahiwagang bag. Bag ni Dora. <laughs> Okay, so isa po ito ang tote bag po ng STII. So, uh, nandito na din po yung email ng ating library. So halimbawa po, medyo naliligaw kayo at kailangan nyo ng information. Pwede, pwede po kayong magpadala ng mensahe via email sa atin. Okay, at ang alam mo ng bag, kasama na po ang t-shirt or uh, polo. May design po ng aming brand. sakto po para sa mga may laptop. Yung mga wala pong laptop, susunod na lang po. <laughs> Siyempre, kailangan din natin ang ball pen. Sa STII po, DOST STII, ang official pen po natin ay blue. Kaya po blue yung mga pinapagawa. Siyempre, yung ating mga brochures uh, po ng different programs ng ating agency. So, we have the DOST brochure. Ang DOST TV is our broadcast platform. Since DOST SDII is the marketing and information arm of the Department of Science and Technology. And narito din po ang uh, brochure ng Starbook. Nilalaman po nito sa mga uh, gusto magkaroon ng Starbucks free sa kanilang mga um, komunidad or ispilahan, pwede po kayong mag-request na kalagay po dito yung uh, kung paano ang gagawin. And syempre, para hindi po mawala ang inyong mga bags, meron din tayong bag tags. <laughs> sa ating bag tags, nakalagay din dito ang uh, social media account ng DUST STII library. So, kahit nasan po kayo, kung may internet connection, konektado po tayo. Okay, so iyan po ang nilalaman ng ating mahiwagang kumakay. Okay, so sa ating mga uh, on-site attendees, ready na ba kayo na tanggapin ang inyong mga uh, awards? Yan. So, ang ating mga awards ay Online Advocate Award. Ito po yung sinabi ni Sir Alan kanina. So, we have Online Advocate Award. Meron tayong uh, Webinar Loyalty Award. Meron tayong uh, highest number of OLLP participants. Ayan. And, meron din tayo, syempre, Top Requester Award. 
Yan. For Online Advocate Award, this award is given to the individual or institution that actively promoted DOST STIA library programs and services through various platforms in 2020 to 2021. Yan. At para kasahin uh, ang citation, Ayan. Ayan. So, ang citation po ng uh, certificate of award natin ay ito. Yung citation po na. Okay, so ito po ang citation para sa Online Advocate Award. Oh, wala, wala dyan. Ah, ayan. So, nasabi ko na po kanina, this award is given to the individual um, or institution that actively promoted the USD STI library programs and services through various platforms in 2020 to 2021. So, ang uh, nanalo po bilang pangatlo ay si Mr. Kevin Conrad T. Tan Chong po. Ayan. Unfortunately, si Mr. Tan Chong po ay uh, nasa uh, ibang country po for um, sponsored ayan, for IFLA event. So, IFLA is International Federation of Librarians. Yon. And then, another awardee is Ayun, dito pa <laughs> Okay. So, ayan. Lalapit ako. So, siya po ang una, uh, ang pangatlo Third place in our Online Advocate Award, Kevin Conrad T. Tanshongko. This is given this 27th day of July 2020 on the occasion of the Library Clients Appreciation Day at DOST STII Mini Theater and live stream by, via DOST STII Library FB page. Signed by the Director of DOST STII, Richard P. Burgos. Yan. And for second place under Online Advocate Award, we have the National Library of the Philippines. Ayan. So, tinatawag ko po uh, ang uh, team ng National Library of Philippines dito sa harap at ang ating Chief of Information Resources and Analysis Division to award the certificate assisted by uh, Ms. Linder uh, Linder Let M. Maglaki. Sige po, dito po tayo. Sir Alan, to award po. Ayan, so the certificate of appreciation is uh, given to national our uh, certificate of recognition is awarded to National Library of the Philippines for winning second place in our online advocate award given this 22nd day of July 2022 at DOST STII. Signed Director Richard P. Burgos of DOST STII. Ayan. Kasama din po na maibibigay sa kanila ang uh, complimentary copy ng SFTP books from um, our former secretary, Secretary Fortunato T. De La Peña. Okay, and first place for Online Advocate Award, we have Aliana S. Delgado. 
is a librarian of Henry Luce Third Library, Central Philippines University, Ilo, Ilo City. Ayan. Kung siya po ay blogger, malitang librarian, PH Library News, and blog Ilo, Ilo. Ayan. So, hindi po natin siya nakasama ngayong umaga dito sa... Dito, pero meron po siyang acceptance speech. So, all the way from Iloilo City, and dito po uh, si Miss Aliana S. Delgado. Good morning. Unfortunately, I cannot join you today for the Library Clients Appreciation Event since I am in Iloilo City. I thank the DOST Science and Technology Information Institute Library for this award as first place in the Online Advocate Award. <laughs> this award is given to those individuals and institutions who have actively shared and promoted the activities of the library from 2020 to 2021. I will introduce myself briefly. So I am Aliana Delgado. Currently, I am a librarian for the Henry Luce III Library in Central Philippine University here in Iloilo City. Aside from that, I have also been blogging about librarianship and sharing library news for six years now. First in the blog, Malditang Librarian, which you can visit at malditanglibrarian.com. And aside from that, I also have Facebook pages such as Malditang Librarian, Philippine Library News, and blogs about Iloilo City where I share current events and news about librarianship. I was really active during the pandemic, especially during the most strict lockdowns, because I would always blog and share about the latest library news that I can find online. And make, even with that restricted situation, a lot of libraries have stepped up and actually really tried to help the community in whatever way they can in that uh, difficult situation. A lot of people have begun to see and appreciate what libraries and librarians do. And one library that is the most active when it comes to creating learning opportunities for librarians and offering services for the library community, the DOST STII library is one of those that really stood out to me. So I always share the events, news, and activities about the library. I'm very thankful for the free uh, CPD learning activities because aside from the CPD points, I always learn something new and informative with the webinars and they have also helped a lot of librarians. And I was pleasantly surprised to have received this award but I appreciate the library for the recognition. And if there are librarians out there who would like to start their own pages, their own websites and be librarian influencers, I highly encourage you to do so because there's very few librarians doing that. And we need more librarians speaking up and speaking out about what librarians and libraries can do. Once again, thank you and congratulations to the library for the launch of your new Star Library app. And if ever you have more events in the future, I'm very glad to partner with you and help you share it to a much wider audience. Ayan, so thank you so much, Miss Aliana. And actually, Aliana is with us via Zoom. Ayan, Miss Aliana, pwede po ba naming ipakita ang inyong mukha sa Zoom? Live? Hi. Ayan. Hi, Miss Aliana. Kumusta naman po ang Iloilo? Uh, ito po. Uh, medyo okay naman. And we are preparing for the Fly National Congress on November. So, wow. This November. So maybe you, you would come to Iloilo City. Ayan. So mula sa amin dito, congratulations po for winning the award. And thank you so much for um, helping us promote the different our different activities. Ayan. Okay, so uh, bigyan natin ng masigabong palakpak si Miss Aliana. Ayan. At sana makasama kami sa Apply Congress. <laughs> See you. <laughs> See you. Ayan, so next up, we have the uh, next award, which is Highest Number of OLLP Participants Award. Now, this award is given the institution with the most participants in the DOST STII Online Library Literacy Program in 2020 to 2021. So, yung ating online library literacy program ay uh, virtual um, version po ng on-site na uh, tour orientation. So, dito po sa OLLP, uh, 
binidiscuss po namin kung ano-ano uh, po yung mga services na nandito sa DOST-STII at kung paano siya ma-avail ng public. And then, uh, tinuturuan po namin sila. Nagkakaroon kami ng simpleng walkthrough kung paano po gamitin ang ating uh, online public access catalog. Also, uh, nagkakaroon din po tayo ng orientation kung ano-ano po yung mga available na Starbucks platforms natin at kung paano din siya i-avail. So sa mga interested po na magkaroon ng ganito, uh, sa pagbubukas ng klase, pwede po kayong magpadala ng mensahe via email at library at DOST uh, at sd.gov.ph. Ayan. So libre po yun. Lahat po ng services na ginagawa ng DOST STII ay for free. Ayan. So, ang highest number of OLLP participants awarded is I. I don't think I can finish the research paper. I'm having difficulty accessing reliable sources online. Why is it so hard to access research studies? Huh. I, I know where you can get, get a reliable, reliable source, source of information. information. Introducing DOST-STII Library. The STII Library contains credible and updated STI information of both Filipiniana and foreign sources. General STI references include books, journals, theses, dissertations, investigatory projects, and multimedia resources. DOST STII offers on-site tour and remote assistance via the Online Library Literacy Program or the OLLP. The OLLP aims to reduce the gap in access to information and to cater to the growing number of distance learners. OLLP is a two-hour webinar, virtual library tour, and orientation that is divided into three parts. First, it will discuss the DOST STII services, resources, and products. Second, the webinar will teach participants how to research in the DOST-STII library by using the Online Public Access Catalog, or OPAC. And lastly, it will also orient participants how to navigate the DOST Starbucks Online mobile app and quiz app. The OLLP is open to all public and private schools in all levels, conducted via Zoom, and can accommodate a minimum of 50 up to a maximum of 1,000 participants per session. The service is available from Monday to Friday between 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Most especially, OLLP is completely free as DOST-STII aims to make information access convenient to all in the new normal. Upon completion of the OLLP, you are now ready to access our wide range of STI sources whenever and wherever. Because here at DOST-STII, we strive to help you with your research needs the best we can. Avail of STII's Online Library Literacy Program like, follow, or contact us through our email, social media pages, or phone numbers as seen on your screen. And be part of our community now. Again, so that sums up our online library literacy program. Ayan po yung ginagawa namin. And uh, sa BUST STII, kung si uh, SM, uh, happy to serve, tsaka si BDOI, we find ways Dito po, pinagsama namin yung We Find Ways and We Are Happy to Serve. <laughs> and isa pa po, ipapakita namin ang ito na yung mga nanalo. Okay. So, in 2020, we received eight requests from Kasarinlan High School, Caloocan City. We also received requests from Victoria Catholic School, Tarlac City. We also received from Coronadal National Comprehensive High School, South Cotabato. We also received 
request from Divine Light Academy, Las Piñas Campus. Also from Baliwag University, Baliwag Bulacan. From St. Mary's College of Baliwag Bulacan. From National University, Baliwag Campus. From Philippine Science High School, Eastern Visayas Campus, Car Campus, Ilocos, Ilocos Region Campus. In 2021, we were able to receive 47 requests for online library literacy program. So katulad pong na, ng nabanggit kanina sa ating ABP, ang uh, ating audience ay from uh, 50 to 1,000 participants. Uh, and uh, kung pumapayag po yung ating mga schools din, in cases na hindi daw kaya ng mga estudyante, yung Zoom, uh, ginagawa namin siya na FB Live. Pero iyon po ay para lamang sa mga may gusto ng ganun na setup. But uh, usually, ginagawa po namin siya via Zoom. Ayan. So, hindi ko na po babasahin isa-isa yung 47 na uh, schools na <laughs> nag-request sa atin. At ito na po, magbibigay na nga, pa, na nga po tayo ng award para sa... Uh, may pinakamaraming attendees ng online library literacy program. And ang third place for the highest number of OLLP attendees ay Blessed Christian Schools de Santa Rosa Incorporated Laguna. Ayan. Blessed Christian School de Santa Rosa Incorporated Laguna. Ayan na. Pwede na po tayo dito sa harap. And once again, may we request Sir Alan, the Chief of the Information Resources and Analysis Division to award the certificate assisted by Mom Peter. Uh, this certificate of uh, recognition reads, uh, Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Blessed Christian School at the Santa Rosa Incorporated for winning third place in our highest number of OLLP participants award given to the institution with the most number of participants in the online library literacy program in 2020 to 2021. Given this 22nd day of July, uh, in DOST STII signed, Director Richard of the DOST STII. Yeah, and congratulations po and thank you for uh, making it here. And mas masarap po pagkasama. Next, ang second place po ay ang Baliwag University from Baliwag, Bulacan. And at um, may attendee po ba tayo from Baliwag sa Zoom? <laughs> Ayan. Wala po sila. But anyway, congratulations po sa inyo. Next, or ang ating first place naman uh, in this category of award is the School of St. Anthony Lagro, Quezon City. Ayan. Congratulations, School of St. Anthony Lagro, Quezon City. Meron silang 1,090 Zoom participants. These sessions were conducted on uh, July 15, 16, and then 20, 21 of September. Ayan, dito po tayo sa harap. Ayan, so... Congratulations po. And so once again, this Certificate of Recognition is award uh, School of St. Anthony Lagro, Quezon City for winning the uh, first place in the highest number of OLLP participants award given to the institution with the most number of uh, participants in the online library literacy program. It was given this 22nd day of July 2022 at USD STII. Signed, Richard B. Burgos, Director. Okay, so 
uh, masig masigabong palakpak po muli para sa lahat ng ating mga nanalo. Okay. Ngayon, game time na ulit. Okay. So, ready na ba ang lahat para sa susunod na laro? Okay. So, uh, sabi po ng mga nasa... Um, Live, congratulations daw po sa inyong lahat. Sa mga nanalo na nandito on-site at sa nasa Zoom. Ayan. Ready na ba kayo para sa ating game 2? Ayan, yes! Yes daw! Okay, ang category natin ngayon sa game 2 ay the screenshot challenge. Ayan. So, uh, dyan, Ito yata yung na-master natin nung pandemic, no? Kasi sa lahat ng activity, kailangan may screenshot. So, the screenshot challenge. Ang mechanics natin, take a screenshot of the following items and post your screenshot in the comment box of FB Live. So the, first, the first one to comment with the correct screenshot wins TUSD STII souvenir items. Ito po yung mechanics natin for game 2. So, magbibigay kami ng mga uh, items na uh, i-screenshot ito. Okay, so ready na ba kayo? Ready na ba kayo, mga nasa on-site? <laughs> Ayan, hawak-hawak na nila yung kanilang mga oh, oh. Sa ating mga nasa FB Live, sabi ni Jer Eka, ayan, go na daw. Yes na yes daw, sabi ni Marinel. So, ang screenshot number one ay Screenshot of DOST STII Library Facebook page with following button. So, dapat naka-check uh, yung, or ang lumalabas doon is following. Yan. And then, is crunch. screenshot nyo po, tapos i-post nyo po sa at ilagay nyo sa comment po dito po sa ating Facebook. Right. And so, uh, try nyo po kung pwedeng pag-comment ng photo. O, oh, sino pong nandun na sa Facebook page ng library? Siyempre, kayo, no? Kasi nasa Facebook live po kayo. Ayan, so. At try nga po. Okay, itry nyo po muna kung pwedeng mag-comment na uh, photo. Ayan, sabi ni Jonathan... Uh, Ma'am Linder, hindi daw po pwedeng mag-comment ng photo sa FB Live. So, ano po ang gagawin natin? Okay, so ang gagawin natin ay i-upload. So, i-PPM ngayon. Private message or direct message sa library Facebook page. Ayan. So, isend nyo na lang siya sa message. Ayan. Now na. Okay. So, instead po na i-comment nyo po sa FB Live, papadala nyo po through direct message. Sa ating library Facebook page pa rin po, hindi po sa mga personal na Facebook page natin. Ayan, tingnan natin kung sino ang nakunang nagpadala ng exactly. Pero na po, ang pangalan ay si Jonathan Avalon. <laughs> Ayan, so ang nauna daw na nagpadala ng mensahe ay walang iba on DC. Jonathan Avalon. Ayan, Okay, hello. Nice. So, congratulations, Jonathan. Jonathan, hindi ka na pwedeng mag-grain sa susunod na laro ko. <laughs> okay. Next, screenshot number two. Ayan, ang screenshot number two ay screenshot of DOST STII Library YouTube channel. So, subscribe button. Ayan. So, dapat nakalagay doon na subscribe. 
Ayan. So, instead na i-post niyo po sa comment box ng FB Live, papadali niyo po through direct So, YouTube channel naman po. Hahanapin nyo lamang po ang BOSD Science and Technology Information Institute Hydrate. Sa ating YouTube channel, na-upload po yung ating mga online library literacy program na recordings and also our webinars. So, kung halimbawa po ay uh, gusto nyo pong balikan kung ano, pa, ano na po yung mga topics na kinandak namin na webinars, pwede nyo pong halitan doon. Yun nga lamang po, hindi na po kami magbibigay ng certificate para sa mga nag-i-touch. Okay. Ayan, meron na po ba? Ayan, si Jan Nino. Okay, congratulations, si Jan Nino. Next, screenshot number three. Okay, screenshot number three. Screenshot of BUSD STII Library Online Public Access Catalog. Kanina, na, nasabi na kung ano yung URL. So ngayon, pupuntahan nyo naman siya. Screenshot of BUSD STII Library Online Public Access Catalog. Ang URL niya ay... Mga hindi nakakaalam, go to signet.ust.gov.ph Again, that's signet.ust.gov.ph Ayan, meron na po ba? Ayan, Jen Razel. Ayan, nandito po siya sa ating uh, mini theater. Ayan, congratulations ma'am. Next po, you have screenshot number four. Ang screenshot number four ay screenshot of the UST STI Library Instagram page with the following button. Yeah. And so, syempre, kung meron kaming Facebook page, meron din po kaming Instagram. Screenshot of BOST STI Library Instagram page with the following button. Ayan. Sa ating mga Facebook Live viewers, nag-enjoy ba kayo sa ating palaro? Bebe Benetes. Ayan, ganda naman ang pangalan. Bebe Benetes. Ayan, congratulations. Next. We have screenshot number five. Ito na po yung panghuli. Screenshot number five. Screenshot of DOST SCI Library Twitter page with the following button. Ayan, so Twitter naman tayo. Kanina Instagram, ngayon Twitter naman. Ba't po hindi sinisin ng page? pala kayo ni na ma'am or si Nexer kasi hindi ko po alam kung uh, ano po yung preferred na pronoun para daw po sa 
uh, gender uh, ba yun? gender uh, based na language okay meron na ba tayo nakafollow sa Twitter yung meron na lilista na At ang nanalo for screenshot number 5, I see. Ayan. Ikaw na nga, Richard David Baldin. Baldin. Baldin Jr. Ayan. So, uh, Richard, ayan. Nasin na po. <laughs> At nakikita ka namin. Ayan. So, congratulations pa sa ating mga winners for game number 2. Ayan. Mamaya, meron pa din, syempre. Meron pa tayong game Number three. Ngayon naman po, nais nating i-recognize ang uh, presensya uh, via Zoom ng ating uh, second place from Baliwag University uh, being represented by Reina Flor Castro, the Chief Librarian. Reina? Good morning po sa inyo. Kumusta po sa Bulacan? Ayan si Ma'am Reina. Good morning. Thank you, DLSPSDII. Thank you, Ms. Linder, and of course, Director Borgos for the prestigious award. Unfortunately, we cannot go there physically, but we are here with you in spirit. So more power and success to DLSPSDII and your future activities. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ayan. Thank you so much, Ms. Serena, and thank you for joining us even uh, virtually. Uh, hopefully, next time, kasama po namin kayo dito on site. Ayan. So, once again, congratulations. Next po ay ang Webinar Loyalty Award. So, proceed na po tayo muli sa awarding. For Webinar Loyalty Award, this award is given to clients who attended the most USP STI library hosted webinars in 2020 and 2021. So, tinignan po namin lahat ng uh, attendance sheet. Tinignan namin kung nakailang beses po kayong nag-attend sa ating uh, webinar. At syempre, eh, gustong-gusto naman namin yun. Lagi kayong masama. Okay. So, for the Webinar Loyalty Award, kaya, kaya ang ganda ng, ano, ng ngiti niya kanina. Okay, so, pero bago yan, ayan, panoorin po muna natin ito. sa taas, Starbucks in Starbucks. Uh, totoo po yun. Makikita nyo po mamaya. Oh, yan. So, sa mga nandyan po sa uh, Facebook Live, uh, may Starbucks po tayo dito sa DOST STII. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, ano, po, ano pong title nun? <laughs> eh, title lang naman. Copyright and Intellectual Property of Government-Funded uh, Thesis and Dissertation. Ang galing! 
Sir Alan, pakilista na po yung kanyang Starbucks. Ayan. At ang speaker po natin kahapon ay from the Intellectual Property Office, Dr. Fernand Pinkon. Ayan. At uh, nabitin nga po kahapon kasi maraming questions na uh, nag-arise. Uh, interesting talaga. Yes, sir. Overtime na nga po tayo kahapon. Pero gusto pa din nila kasi marami pa pong question na hindi na sasagot. So, hopefully by next webinar, may, uh, makakasama po ulit namin kayo. And ngayon, ayan, ang ating mga awardees for Webinar Loyalty Award. For third place, we have Miss Amelita R. Casala, librarian of the University of Batangas. Oh, Lipa, Batangas. Nandito siya ngayon via Zoom. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning po. Uh, baka pa na ka ngayon. Sige, ma'am. Good morning po. Good morning po. Ayan. Thank you so much for joining our webinar series. And congratulations po. Kayo po ang pangatlo sa mga may pinakamaming um, participation po sa ating webinar series. Ayan. Kumusta naman po sa inyo? Po. Marami pong salamat sa DOST STII. Maraming salamat po. Ayan. So, palakpakan po natin si Ma'am Amelita R. Casala. Ayan. So, Ma'am, babasahin ko lang po yung citation po ninyo. Uh, the Certificate of Recognition na maipapadala po sa inyo. Uh, this is being awarded uh, for winning third place in our Webinar Loyalty Award. This award is given to the client who attended the most number of webinar hosted by DOST STI Library for 2020 to 2021. Given this 22nd day of July 2022 at DOST STI I sign. Director Richard P. Burgos. Ayan. So, once again, congratulations, ma'am. Thank you very much po. Ayan. For second place, we have Miss Liza Janice C. Flores. Miss Liza Janice C. Flores. Nandito po siya. Nandito si ma'am Liza? Or nasa Zoom? Ah, wala po. Pero si Miss Liza Janice Flores is administ an administrative aide 5 of Laguna State Polytechnic University, San Pablo, Laguna. So, meron siyang... Uh, she was able to attend 13 UST STI Library hosted webinars from 2020 to 2021. Si Ma'am Amelita kanina ay 12 naman. Kaya isa lang yung diferensya nila. And finally, for the first laser. Ayan! <laughs> Ang ganda ng itin ni ma'am. For first place, we have Miss Jean Razel P. Gagala. Ayan, nandito po siya ngayon. She's a librarian one from Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Manila. She was able to attend 14 DOST STI library hosted webinars from 2020 to 2021. And so, the Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Jen Razel P. Gagala for winning first place of our lo uh, Webinar Loyalty Award. Given this 22nd day of July 2022, at BUST STII, signed Director Richard P. Burgess. And so, congratulations po sa ating mga Webinar Loyalty Awardees. Ayan. Ang susunod naman ay yung mga um, naging gumagamit o nagre-request sa ating uh, 
library. Okay, so on, online po ito. Okay. For Top Requester Award. Top Requester Award is given to clients who have requested the most number of library materials in 2020 to 2022. Katulad po ng sinabi ko kanina, ang online library literacy program ay nagbibigay po sa inyo ng um, uh, simple walkthrough on how to use our online library literacy program. Now, uh, in order for us to request or for you to request from our library, you just uh, follow these four easy steps. So go to signit.usd.gov.ph. That's, that's the first one. Punta ka kayo sa signit.usd.gov.ph. Ayan po. And then you are going to click online public access catalog. Ayan, nakaret mo po siya dyan. Then click search. Ah, sorry. Type your keyword in the search bar, then search. And then you're going to select the title of your choice. And the material should be located at STII. So ang ating sign up po is a union catalog comprising the resources of the different DOST attached agencies. Sino pong nakakaalam sa inyo kung ilan ang attached agencies ng DOST? Meron po ba? Nakakaalam po ba sa inyo? Mga nandito sa on-site? O sa, nasa online, may nakakaalam po ba sa inyo kung ilan? 19. Ma'am Linder, tama po ba yun? 19 attached agencies na nasobrahan po kayo. <laughs> Ayan, nagbibilang na po sila pababa. 18, 17. Ang final answer po ay? 16. <laughs> okay, so we have 18 attached agencies at Ah, alam niyo po ba, si Pag-asa ay under ng DOST. Then, yan. Ang kilalang-kilala uh, po, di ba, kanina, nagkaroon tayo ng lindol, si Vivox, di ba? And then, kapag umuulan, umaaraw, si Pag-asa. Sila po yung laging nababanggit. Pero, uh, maliban po kay Pag-asa, kay uh, Vivox, meron din po tayo ang Science Education Institute, yung uh, in-charge naman po sa scholarship natin. And si PSHS or si Philippine Science High School ay attached agency din po ng DOST. So sa mga nagtatanong po kung meron daw po bang scholarship na ino-offer ang DOST for high school, yun po ay hawak ng Philippine Science High School. Yan. So ngayon, alam na natin. Diba? Okay, so finally... <laughs> Segway ko lang po yun. Kapag na-select nyo na po yung uh, material na kailangan ninyo at nakita ninyo ang location niya is STII, ipapadala nyo na po yan sa atin via email at library at stii.dost.gov.ca So ang pinakamadali po nilang ginagawa, ni-screenshot lang po yung um, details ng material tapos ipapadala na po sa atin. Ayan. po kadali mag-request sa ating library. At sa pagkakataong ayong na piling lima lima na award is for top requester award. Kaya lang po ang lima ay may mga ties pa po. May tie ba dito? Yes. So meron tayong dalawang second place. May tatlong fourth place. Okay. So, for the fifth place, the Angelica May Cornejo. Meron siyang apat na request. Yan. At, uh, ma'am, nasa Zoom po ba siya? Wala po. Ayan. So, wala po si Miss Angelica Cornejo. But, Miss Angelica Cornejo is a student from Central Bicol State University of Agriculture, Pili. Marines were. So, uh, nagagalak po kami actually dahil kahit nasan po kayo sa Pinas ay pwede po kayong magpatala ng request sa amin. Yun nga lang po kailangan ng internet connection. And then, uh, ayan, let me just read the citation for Miss Angelica May Cornejo. 
Uh, this Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Angelica May Cornejo for winning fifth place in the top requester award given to clients who has the most uh, number of requested materials from our library in 2020-2021. Given this 22nd day of July at UST STII, signed Richard P. Borgos, Director. Next, for the fourth place, we have Miss Jill Dorothy Monzon. Miss Jill Dorothy Monzon. Miss um, Jill is a student from the University of the Philippines, Los Baños. Meron po siyang ito na na-request sa atin. Ang leader, nandiyan po ba? Ayan, wala din po siya. Ayan. Uh, anyhow, the same certificate of recognition is uh, given to Jill Dorothy Monzon for winning fourth place in the Top Requester Award. At ang katay po ni Miss Jill Dorothy, ito po kasi hindi, hindi siya pwede i-tiebreaker kaya wala tayong magagawa. So isa po sa nakapag-request din ng pito, si Miss Marjorie Rance. Ayan, Miss Marjorie Rance. Meron siyang pitong request. Ayan, hindi po namin nakuha yung detail ni Miss Marjorie. Ma'am, nasa Zoom po ba siya? Wala din po. Next, we have another fourth placer. Uh, Mr. Joaquin Almoro. Mr. Joaquin Almoro is a student from Ateneo de Manila High School, Quezon City. Meron din po siyang seven na material requests. Again, congratulations po sa ating mga fourth placers. Next, third place. Miss Katrina A. Phoenix. Ayan, sa ating mga awardees, kung nanonood po kayo dito sa uh, Facebook Live, pwedeng-pwede po kayong mag-comment. Ayan. Okay, so once again, third place po, Miss Katrina A. Phoenix. Okay, Miss Katrina A. Phoenix is a faculty from Eastern Visayas State University, Tacloban City, Leyte. Meron siyang nine na material requests. So, the same uh, Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Katrina A. Phoenix, third place in the Top Requester Award. Second place, we have Miss Pamela Joy Arjun Natas. Miss Pamela Joy Arjun Natas is a student from Central Luzon State University, Nueva Ecija. She is a student. I sorry, she was able to request 12 materials from our library. And another second placer, we have Miss Yvonne, uh, Eliza Yvonne Golapa. And si Miss Eliza Yvonne Golapa is a student from St. Joseph's Academy, Las Piñas. Nakapag-request din siya ng 12 na materials. And finally, first placer. For the Top Requester Award, we have Dr. Lydia G. Tansinsin. She is a former DUSD Assistant Secretary and President of the National Research Council of the Philippines Research Foundation, Incorporated. Nag-request po siya ng 21 materials sa atin. Ayan, so congratulations po sa inyong lahat, sa mga... Uh, sa ating mga winners na once again na nasa online online and on-site. Ayan. Ngayon naman, ready na ba tayo sa pangatlong laro? Ayan, game time na po ulit. Ayan, game na daw. Okay, for game number three. Ito, uh, alam na alam nyo pa ito. Four picks in one word. Ayan. Okay, for game number three, four picks in one word. Ito po yung mechanics. Guess what the word is or words are by looking at the four pictures in set of letters given below the pictures. Type your answer in the comment box of FB Live and use the code for each item. So, dito po, gagamit ulit tayo ng code. The first one to comment with the correct answer wins DOST STII souvenir items. Oi, so ready na ba kayo? 
read eh. <laughs> read eh daw. Okay, since read eh, na, na sila, sabi ni Sir Alan. Ito na po ang four picks in one word, number one. Ayan, so ano po yan? Once again, ang mechanics po natin ay susundin ninyo, I mean, ipopost po ninyo sa comment box ng FB Live. And ang ating code for four picks number one ay Q1. Ayan, Q1. Yeah, Q1 and then your answer. Tingnan natin. So, meron siyang lens. Meron siyang laptop. May libro. Okay, wala pa. Okay, clue. Meron tayo yung clue. Ayan, meron na tayong dalawang black. May nakakuha na ba? Miss Monica, try again. May nakakuha na po ba? Ayun, meron na tayo. Ang sagot ay Opa. At ang nanalo ay si Ang nanalo ay si Binabasa pa po. <laughs> Ayun, suspense daw. Suspense. Ayun, katulad po ng sinabi ko kanina, color screen po tayo. <laughs> so, ang nanalo ay si Marinel Portello Flores. Congratulations! Next, for picks in one word, question. Ah, ito po, number two. Ito po, ang um, number two. Ayan, may, meron na pong nakalagay dyan na blue, dalawang letra. So, may nakikita po kayong mga, ano ba yan? Galaxy? Stars. May stars po. Tapos, may kape. Starbucks ba to? Three in one. <laughs> may kiosk naman. Ano to? Ayan, may nakikita ako dito sa Facebook. Yun din po ba ang nakita nyo dyan? Si Miss Monica Wilson de la Torre. Ayan, congratulations po. Ang sagot ay Starbucks. Ayan, so... Nakuha nyo ba? Okay. Ito po ang four picks in one word Number three. Okay. So, meron po tayong clue dyan na ay tsaka A. Ano yan? May e-book sa taas. Meron din siyang ano yan? Scanner. Tapos SNP. Ano kaya yan? Okay. Pwede po ba next uh, next para may clue. Ayan. So, meron na tayong tatlo. I-A-O. Oh. I-A-I-A-I-O. <laughs> okay. So, meron na po ba? Sabi ni Agnes, balikot ko, digital library. Kaya lang po, Miss Agnes, may, uh, may letter O. Sabi ni Asral, information. information ah, ah, parang hindi po. Ayan. So, meron na tayo. Next. So, I, I. Oh, may nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Si Toto Shane. At ang sagot niya ay digitization. Ayan. Nakuha niyo po ba yun? Digitization. <laughs> okay. Ito na po ang Four peaks in one word. Number four. Okay, so my letter C. So malamang hindi China yan. Kasi yung letter C ay nasa third letter. No? Meron siyang scroll ba to? Scroll. Tapos meron siyang... Oh, helps. Hindi 
kompakto. Meron din siya. Ano po ito? Uh, ito yung time. <laughs> Ayan. Pinakakuha po ba? Sabi ni Lely Nor, dictionary. Parang hindi po. Okay, next po. Ayan, meron na po tayong tatlong letter. So we have C, H, ano po yun? Sabi ni Nika. Nika po ba ang nakita niyo dyan? Ayan, sabi po ni Nika Lepalam de Pina, Archives. At ang tamang sagot ay Archives. Ayan, congratulations! Nag-enjoy ba kayo? <laughs> Nag-enjoy po ba kayo? Kaya lang, eto na po ang panglima at panghulitin. Okay, four, four picks in one word, number five. Okay, medyo mahaba-haba. At meron siyang uh, tatlong letra na silu. I or D. So, parang konti na lang mabubuo na yung pangalan ko dyan. I or D. Okay, ayan, nadagdagan po ang ating clue. Meron ng dalawang I. R-A-E-C. -E ano kaya yan? Ang nakikita natin dyan ay logo ng UST STII. Nandyan din ang tab. Nandyan din ang tab. Ano ko ba yan? Okay, tapos may ilip. Okay, so three words po siya. Nakita niyo na po, meron na siyang nadagdag na mga clue. So tatlong I and then O, R, A, C, E, C. Sabi ni Amor Baguio, Philippine Library of Science. Hindi po. May O tsaka may R, may A. Okay, sa mga nasa on-site, may nakakaalam po ba sa inyo kung ano to? Wala po. Sabi ni Flo, Philippine Floral in Science. Naku naman, Flo. Dahil Flo yung pangalan mo, ginamit mo floral, no? Sabi ni Nika. Nika, Lipal. Wala ang nakita nyo dyan? Philippine Journal of Science. Naku, Miss Nika, nakailang ano, ilang panalo ka na. Nahuli lang ng konti si Miss Jenny pa at Philippine Journal of Science. So, sorry po. Kaya lang ang nanalo sa pagkakataong ito ay muli si Miss Nika Lepalam de Villa. Ayan. So, congratulations po sa inyong lahat sa ating mga winners ng ating games at sa ating mga winners na binigyan natin ng awards ngayong umaga. Maraming 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 salamat po sa inyo. At uh, dyan po nagtatapos ang ating mga palaro. Sa pagkakataong ito naman, tatawagin ko po uh, for closing remarks ang uh, Supervising Science Research Specialist and Head Librarian of the DUST STII Library, Ms. Linderlet M. Maglake. Thank you, Irene. So, isang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ayan. So, good morning po. Una po, good morning po sa supportive naming uh, division chief, kaya Mr. Alan C. Taule. Sa amin pong mga awardees na nandito ngayon on site. Maraming maraming salamat po. And again, congratulations po sa inyong lahat. Uh, sa aking pong library team. Ayan. And then sa IT po, sa IT team and AV team. Good morning po and thank you din po. And syempre po, sa inyong lahat na nasa Facebook Live na sumama po sa amin ngayong araw para po uh, sa ating uh, Library Clients Appreciation Day. Uh, kung alam niyo po, isa po ito sa araw na hinihintay namin sa library dahil ito po yung araw, araw ninyo, araw para makapagpasalamat po kami sa patuloy niyong pagsuporta sa aming mga library services and activities. Ayo po ang dahilan kung bakit pinipilit namin na ma-improve at ma-enhance ang aming library uh, service. 
And kayo din po ang palagi naming inspirasyon sa lahat po na ginagawa namin. At dahil dyan, naisip namin, total, ngayong buwan na to, palagi may, may mga graduation eh, ba? nagkakandak na mga graduation sa mga schools. So naisip namin, bakit hindi natin i-recognize yung mga library clients natin? So parang ito po yung graduation ninyo. So maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Naalala po namin in 2020, kami po ay uh, chinalenge ni Director Richard. So sabi ni Director Richard sa amin, Linder, bakit hindi kayo mag-conduct ng webinars? So noong time po na yon 2020, after lockdown, naisip namin, kaya ba natin? Ayan, so syempre, sabi po yun ng aming director. So kami, dahil naniniwala si Sir na kaya namin, kinaya namin. At dahil din po yun sa suporta ninyo. So ngayon po yung mga library webinars natin. Siyempre katulong po palagi ang ating IT team. Gusto kong i-recognize. Pwede pa kayong pumunta dito, uh, Rainier and uh, Mike. Kaso wala rin si MJ sa si Lloyd eh. Ayan, yun po talaga nag-start sa um, library webinars. Punta kayo dito. <laughs> Ayan, ito po si Rainier and then ito po si Mike. Ayan, ma mask of the wall. <laughs> Ayan, yan po ang palagi namin katulong sa lahat ng mga online library literacy program namin at saka sa mga library webinars. So maraming maraming salamat sa inyo, Rainier and Mike. And then kay MJ, saka kay Lloyd. Ayan, thank you, thank you. Also, in, <clears throat> in 2020, naisip namin yung idea, bakit meron kasi kaming library tour and orientation pre-pandemic. Naisip namin, bakit hindi natin siyang gawing virtual? So, doon po na-establish si Online Library Literacy Program na ngayon ay tinatawag namin OLLP. So, andito po yung highest na may Zoom participants from, from Lawag, School of St. Anthony Law, uh, Lawag. Ay, Lagro pala, from Lagro QC. Sorry. Ayan. So, sila po ay may 1,000 na Zoom participants sa isang session. Ayan po. And then, after po niyan, in 2020, may walo lang po kaming nakandak. Totoo po niyan, kami mismo yung nag invite sa mga school in 2020. Pero in 2021, nakapag-conduct po kami ng 47 at lahat po na yun, sila na yung nag-email sa amin. So ngayon po, until today, nakaka-receive po kami ng mga request to conduct OLLP. And sa mga hindi pa po nakakapag-avail ng aming online library literacy program, mag-avail na po kayo. Email nyo lang po kami sa library at sii.bosc.gov.ph. So hihintayin po namin yung inyong Uh, mga request. Ayan. And I would also like to take this opportunity, syempre po, i-recognize po natin ang library team, syempre ang, ta ang mga tao po behind the library services and program. So, isa-isahin ko po ito. So, simulan po natin sa aming technical librarian. Andiyan ba si Ma'am Nelly? Eh, nag-CR lang po. Pero skip po natin si Ma'am. Punta po tayo sa ating official moderator. Ito po, palagi po siyang ano. Siya po ang mukha ng ating webinar. Ayan, ang ating official moderator at host ating mga webinars. Siya rin po ang in-charge sa Pilipiniana section. We have Miss Irene Abrilio. Irene, punta ka dito sa harap. Ayan. We, we also like to recognize ang aming technical librarian, ang in-charge po sa pagkakatalog, sa, kapag, uh, sa acquisition ng ating mga library resources. We have Ma'am Nelly A. Ngangay. Also, ang in-charge po sa ating, isa po sa resource speaker sa ating online library literacy program. In-charge din po siya sa mga evaluation report. And also, uh, siya ay naka-assign sa ating general reference section. We have Mr. RJ Escondo. Ayan, si RJ ay nasa front line po ngayon, nasa taas. Ayan. And then, syempre po, ang unit head ng digitization. We have Ms. Jessica Barrientos. Ma'am Jessica. Siyempre, ang in-charge po, isa po sa ating moderator sa OLLP. At in-charge sa mga social media cards, yung mga nakikita nyo nakapost sa ating uh, FB page. We have uh, Ms. Luisa Marie Marquez. Ang ating official na sekretaryat, Ayan po, kapag po may nagre-reklamo na nalilate nyo pong nare-receive ang inyong certificate, siya po ang, siya po ang ano, sumasagot sa inyo. So we have uh, Mr. Elmer Heneralaw. And syempre, ang ating mga scanner operators, we have Clyde, La, uh, si Clyde Lasca and EJ Oliveros. Ayan, patay dito Clyde. 
ni Jay. Eh, Siyempre, hindi pa uhuli. Ang in-charge sa ating repair room, we have Miss Rona Pamilakan. And then, siyempre po, ang aming division chief si Sir Alan Taule. Ayan. Kami po ang bumubuo sa DUST SAA Library. And muli po, mula po sa aming lahat dito sa DUST SAA Library, maraming maraming pong salamat sa inyong lahat. So, magandang umaga po. Okay, so thank you so much, Ma'am Linder. And uh, katulad po ng sinabi ni Ma'am Linder, uh, very willing po kami kung may mga gusto pong mag-invite uh, na magkaroon ng online library literacy program. Ayan, uh, Sir Rainer, pwedeng pa-flash po ng ating... Okay. Yung ating online library literacy program. Ayan, so kami-kami lang din po yung speakers. <laughs> Okay, so makikita niyo po dyan si Ma'am Linder. Siya po yung nag... Um, uh, she talks about uh, the different UST STI services. So hindi lang po library, but uh, even the services being offered by the uh, CRPD or sa ating creative production and resources and production division pala, CRPD. Ayan. And then ako po sa kung paano po gamitin si OPAC and other... Um, Uh, databases na pwede po nating ipagamit sa client. And finally, si Sir RJ Escondo. Uh, siya naman po uh, ang nag, um, deliver niyang to kung ano si Starbucks, paano siya gamitin at ano-ano po yung mga available platforms ni Starbucks. And meron din pong kinakandak na separate walkthrough si Starbucks. Kung may mga Starbucks na po kayo sa inyong mga schools, ayan, may Starbucks walkthrough po Uh, kinakandak din po ng Amix Starbucks team. Dito po ay tinuturuan kung paano po uh, i-navigate yung Starbucks mismo. Ayan. So, pwede pong magpadala ng request sa ating library at libraryst.com.th Ayan. So, stay connected po, uh, Sir Rainer. Our final slide. Uh, sige, next po. Ayan, so let's stay connected po. Uh, pwede po kayong uh, pumunta in person dito sa STII or you can email us or reach us through our social media pages. So once again, thank you so much everyone for uh, being with us today sa ating mga Facebook Live viewers. Thank you so much sa inyong lahat. And to our on-site na awardees, thank you for gracing us today. Sir Alan? Thank you, Irene, and uh, to our online guests, you may now have your lunch, you know? but to our on-site guests, lunch will now be served, so please stay. Thank you.
I don't think I can finish the research paper. I'm having difficulty accessing reliable sources online.